Hi, it's Black Bright um, broadcasting out of the UK. Welcome to my channel. Just want to thank my subscribers for their comments and yes. Um, also, if you're passing through and you like what you hear, please subscribe, share and click on the thumbs up button. Anyway, um, what I found out today is that you can be fined for giving a passenger a lift. Now that might seem a bit bizarre, but you know sometimes you might be carpooling or you have a friend and you say to the friend, look, you know, I'm going to London, I'm going to need about 10, 15 quid towards the petrol. Um, or depending on how much you put in the petrol, you accept money from a passenger and have made a profit from that money would you believe that you can get fined two thousand five hundred pounds it can actually void your your insurance i didn't know that you know i mean normally i would just give a fiver anyway if i'm going to contribute and i wouldn't accept more than a fiver depending on where i'm going i mean normally it doesn't really happen but, you know, it would not have occurred to me, and I don't even know how they would find out. I guess, unless you've got a snitch who knows about this law, well, they'll know about it now, that tells the insurance company, but then how would they know your insurance company? Well, I guess they've got your, your car registration. But somebody would have to snitch on you to find that out. I don't understand how they're going to find that out, actually. It's a bit bizarre, but I'm going to put the link in. But yeah, apparently, um, if you charge somebody and you're making a profit from giving somebody a lift, you can be fined and your car insurance is made null and void. Would not have believed that. Anyway, I'm going to give you a quick read. This is just going to be a short one. Uh, let me get myself comfortable. Okay, car insurance warning. Giving a friend a lift could land you a £2,500 fine, and here's why. Car insurance can be a tricky thing to deal with and also leave you with a huge bill. There are so many things that can impact your car insurance premium before you apply when renewing or throughout the terms of your agreement, which could leave you out of pocket. You run into trouble by giving your, your friend a lift. While throwing your friends around is a completely innocuous task and not against the terms of your insurance, it could be if you are accepting money from them. While drivers are allowed to recuperate full costs from passengers, they must not be making a profit from lifts. Bloody hell. They try to get you every inch of the way, don't they? Like I said, I don't know how the hell they're going to find that out. Anyone found guilty of making a profit on lifts could invalidate their car insurance and have their car seized. Bit drastic. Furthermore, drivers can also be handed a huge fine and penalty points for the offence. I guess they're kind of saying um, that you're becoming a taxi then. And taxis have different laws. That's the only thing I can think of why it would be a problem. Drivers should always read the terms and conditions of their car insurance policy carefully to make sure they don't accidentally invalidate it, said Rachel Waite at Money Supermarket, who told the Mirror. What may be seen as a fairly innocent, such as charging somebody for a lift, may actually encroach on the terms of their insurance taking the odd pound here or there to help cover petrol costs or general car maintenance is usually fine but if you're found to be making a profit from giving someone a lift your policy could be invalidated always check with your insurer if you're not sure it's also a good idea to check your cover will still be valid if you're thinking of joining a lift sharing scheme yeah that's like the carpool Who would have thought of that, though? 
The comparison website has listed the six ways drivers could be breaking the terms of their policy. 1. Changing jobs without notifying their insurer. I didn't know you had to do that. Having an accident and not informing the insurer. Well, that goes without saying. Letting others drive their car without the correct insurance. Failing to update the address on their policy details. Charging others for lifts. Incorrectly listing their parents as the main policy holder. Well, I did tell you it's going to be short and sweet, but I hope this is useful information. So if you're carpooling and you're raking it in, you won't be raking it in if they find out. So just be careful. And that's all for now. Bye-bye.